Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence. In this video, I'm gonna help you diagnose the 404 errors you're getting on your website. Maybe they're showing up in Google Analytics stats or something, you're trying to figure out where they're coming from. I actually received an email from a client recently and we were looking into this. I'll show you this email. She said, we were looking into website analytics, came across 404 pages, getting a lot of traffic. We can't tell what page it is. I have a test, what we saw, wondering if there's a, any way you can tell which page isn't responding, how to fix it. It seems like a lot of our site visitors are coming across this page. So real quick, a 404 page you've probably seen before. It's like an error to go to a website and like I type in some weird letters after the domain, I'll get a 404 error. This, this one just says no results found. A lot of times it'll say actual like 404 on the page. Basically what it means, um, according to this article here, is a 404 error is an HTTP status code, means that the page you are trying to reach on a website couldn't be found on their server. So it's important to mention, like they mentioned here, the error indicates that while the server itself is reachable, the specific page showing the error is not. So it means they're connecting to this server or website, but the page doesn't exist. So this probably happens on every website to some degree, just due to user error. But on this site in particular, we're seeing a high percentage of 404 errors, and that's why this client contacted me. So when you get into Google Analytics, you might see views by page title and screen. So you can click this link here as a shortcut, but it's also under reports, engagement, and pages and screens. And I was a little thrown off because I wasn't seeing it here in page path, but I actually need to change this to page title and screen class. Then for this website, I'll see 404 not found at the top. So you can see it's a high percentage. The home page is 86 visits in the last 28 days, but the 404 error page is getting 62. So as you'll see, I, we weren't actually able to totally fix this, but um, I'm gonna show you how to diagnose where they're coming from. Usually you just have bad links on your site and you're gonna easily find them. If you're having a high percentage of bad clicks like this, you're probably gonna have like a link right on the home page, like something in your main menu that's broken, leading to a bad page, but that's not the case here. You can also go in, if you're using WordPress, you can install something like a broken link checker. Uh, this one I'm using is called Broken Link Checker by WPMU Dev, uh, which is a good developer. I've used a lot of their plugins. So then you go to Link Checker after it's installed and I click on, got a few options, but let's just go to Broken Links Old. And it's giving me a list of broken links that are all external links. So since these are external, these can't be what are causing this on the on the website. So I kind of eliminated any potential broken links on the website, but that's probably gonna be, a, in most cases, your issue. So I would check that first. So to dig a little deeper in Google Analytics, what I did and what I would recommend doing next is adding some segmenting to this report here. So first I'm going to go to page and screen and click landing page plus query string. Some of these might change. I mean, they're making a lot of changes in GA4 right now in 2023, but you should find something like this. And basically what it's gonna show you is the, the landing page, the string of the URL that's causing the 404 error. And I could even type 404 in the search here to filter out those and it's gonna show me only 404 errors. So notice FB click ID, which is Facebook. So they're definitely sending some traffic from Facebook advertising to this freedom page that doesn't exist. And then the other one that's getting most of them, most of the views is slash terms. So if I go to their website and go slash terms, before this was giving me a 404 error, I actually redirected it to another another subdomain of theirs that has terms to fix this problem. So these should go away because it's redirecting, but it's actually not in the last 28 days since I made that fix. So anyway, it's a little strange. If you have any idea why that might be happening in this case, you can let me know. Uh, maybe someone out there is smarter than me and can understand why, if this is redirecting to another site, why it's still throwing a 404 error. But this is gonna help you diagnose where these are coming from. And then going another step further, I can filter these by or add kind of a segment of session source. So we go to traffic source and then I select session source and medium. And you might be able to select other things to get more info. But again, we're filtering for 404. 
and I'm seeing a few from Facebook, a few from Linktree, which is, I think that's the page that people put in their Instagram profile to add links, but it's just like a little link profile. So there's probably bad link in there. Facebook referrals are producing some, but then again, I got a lot of them coming from direct none, which basically telling me it's coming from off the site somewhere. They have a link placed somewhere that's going to terms. So kind of strange, uh, probably in your case, if you use these diagnosing methods, you're probably going to find a much more straightforward answer than we're finding here. But I just wanted to show you those steps I'm taking to diagnose these 404 errors. You should be able to get them down to like a very small percentage of your traffic. But if you're having a high percentage of 404 errors, like we are on this site, you're going to want to figure out what's going on there. And hopefully these uh, steps will help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.